Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren. I hope you're all safe and well and have had a good stitchy week. Mine's not been as productive as I wanted to. I only worked on five projects, which isn't bad to say, I only filmed six days ago, so it's not too bad. So again, uh, welcome to any new subscribers. I'm going to have a few more, so welcome. I hope you enjoy. And again, thank you very much for all of you returning subscribers who uh, come back on a regular basis. So thank you very much. So today I'm going to go through the projects I've worked on, uh, what I'm going to be working on next week, and I've got some uh, city kindness, um, which I will show you as well in a moment, um, and some other news. Right, so it's cold here again today. Uh, when I got up, it was minus two, <laughs> so very cold. Um, it's not much warmer now, it's about four degrees, so um, but the sun has come out, so it is warming up slowly. We're getting there. Um, as you can see, we've got a visitor. <laughs> Kitty. And I've got Tiger down here, so he might bombard us in a minute as well. Uh, so yes, a very cold day and start. Um, again, apologies. I was going to be doing a Zoom this week. And uh, the workmen changed that one. They weren't meant to be here this week. Uh, the workmen were meant to be coming back next week. Um, and we got home the other day and they were here. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> you were meant to be here, yep. Yeah. So I've been doing some more renovations to the veranda and they are coming back later on today. They will be here in about the next hour um, to do some more work. So I didn't set up a Zoom because I don't know how long they're gonna be here for. So apologies again. So hopefully next weekend should definitely be a Zoom weekend because I'm hoping to get everything finished. <laughs> Um, so again, apologies for uh, for that. Right, so let's get into um, what we've been working on. So, as I say, some of these did not get an awful lot of work on them. Um, so the first one I worked on was a Heaven and Earth design, and which is Ornament the Enchanted Christmas Snowman, and it's artwork by Donna Gelsinger. And that's this one. She's getting a bit uh, wrinkled now. <laughs> and this one, I... Um, Color completing, so I'm doing all the black first. Um, now this is on. Oh, sorry, I didn't take it out of the bag. So this is on 28 count um, Monaco Lugana, even with. And I'm doing it two over one at 10 stitch. Now someone actually asked me a question um, on I think it was last week's video, or maybe the one before. Um, and they asked what I meant by 10 over. So I think they meant one over when I'm saying like one over one or whatever. So just to reiterate, if you hear anyone saying like one over two or two over two or one over one, it basically means the first number is the amount of threads. So one thread or two threads and over one or over two means how many holes you're going over. So fabric threads. So one over one means one fabric thread over one, uh, one floss thread over one fabric thread. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so, right, back to what we're doing. So, um, this is where we got to on this one. So, this got 424 stitches in this one. And this one, as I say, is done two over one tenth stitch. Um, so, the area I mainly worked in was this area here. So, I've completed down to here. So that's where we are on that one. So, I've got a little bit more black to do. I think it's this scarf comes through here and then the last little bit, the gate. So I've almost finished the black. But obviously these Christmassy ones will be coming out after next week because it'll be July, which is Christmas in July. So that's when everyone starts stitching on their Christmas stuff. <laughs> so me included. Put these away in a moment. So that's that one. Um, the next one I worked on Again, I haven't printed a picture off of this one, uh, but this one is called a Snow Dragon. And this one is, again, a Heaven and Earth Designs piece, and it's artwork by Anne Stokes. So again, I'll put a picture in of what it looks like. And this one got 639 stitches. Now this is on 28 count easy guide, and I'm doing it two over one tenth stitch. Now I've actually changed up how I'm doing this one. So I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but there's um, a way of stitching called Royal Rose. Um, 
Now, the Royal Stitcher um, started doing this and um, somebody else named it for her, I think. Um, and it seems to be taking off. Um, a few people are doing it. And basically, what it is, is you're working uh, 20 blocks, uh, well, a block of 20 stitches, uh, down by 10. So I'll show you in a second. Uh, and you just work that, park underneath, or and finish your threads to the right. And it's tremendous that we get in grid lines. Uh, so, so far, it works out pretty well. Um, a lot of people said it speeds up their stitching, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I tried it on this one. So this one got 639 stitches. So this is where we're up to on that one. So basically, on it, you work two 10 by 10 blocks. So you complete the two colors, and then you have a park underneath. Um, or you, you can park to the side if you wish. But um, park underneath, and then when you're coming to end your thread, you go over, like, miss 10 blocks, and then park in the next one, and end your thread there. So then you shouldn't get the grid lines, because you put your lines going that way as well as that way. From how I understand it. Uh, for a better description, if you watch Royal Stitcher, uh, she's on YouTube. Um, she uh, tells you how to do it on there. Uh, she just put a new uh, video up the other day, so it tells you on there. But this is where we've got to. So yeah, so I started converting it. So I've done across here. So it's going out all right so far. So it means I'm gonna have a lot of part threads, but hey, we'll see how we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna persevere with it and see how it goes. So you can do this both full cross or 10 stitch. So I might try it on a full cross one as well. So that is Snow Dragon. Um, the next one I worked on was one of my brother's pieces, uh, which is Heaven and Earth Designs Woodland Christmas, which is artwork by Donald Gelsinger. And that's this one. And again, I'm doing this two over one, 10 stitch on 28 count easy guide. And I'm up here in this area. Now this one didn't get a lot of work on it. Um, this only got 452 stitches in this one this week. You get apologies if you can hear noise. I've got the washing on. <laughs> so this is where we're up to on here. I don't know if you can see what I've done, uh, but basically I'm on page two now. So I've been working across this section here. So I've completed up this top row and start working my way down. So some parts you can see, some parts you can't. It's a, like a darker off-white, if you like, up there. So this got 452 stitches this week. So that's where this one is. So this is my Sunday piece. So this one will come out again tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow I should get a fair bit of work on this one. Hopefully. So that's that one. The next one I worked on a free chart I got which is pumpkin party which is this one and this one I'm doing on 14 count yellow ada uh, which I just had from my stash and I'm doing it two over one full cross and this one I put into the no tube to give it a try on there this one's a little bit tighter with regards to uh, the tension in the hoop but I think that's because this ada is pretty thick so Still not as tight as I wanted, but never mind. So this one, I've got 405 stitches in it. And this is where we're through there on there. So as you can see, I'll finish his second eye, finish his mouth, and I've been completing the orange. So, so we've now got the shape of a pumpkin. <laughs> Finally, I think it's only taken me two years to get to that part. <laughs> but that stitched up pretty quick, this one. So that is pumpkin party. So yes, I've almost worked on all of my pieces now, which is cool. <laughs> right, and then the final piece I worked on was my supersized tiger family of the jungle, which is artwork by Jan Patrick Krasny. And that's this one. And I'm working in this area just here. 
and this one is on a 25 count easy guide and I'm doing it one over one or full cross. Now this one I did a bit on my stitch with me and then I did a bit more on it yesterday. So this got 616 stitches in it. So this is where we're up to now. So as you can see, well I did a bit everywhere on my stitch with me and then last night I went in from the top and just started filling it all in. So my next stitch is here, that I need to start from, I think, or maybe here. But yes, so I've completed, I think I did, finished the first two rows off yesterday and then got part way through the next row. So we're about two thirds of the way through on this page. So this one will get worked on later on today. So hopefully we'll see if we can get closer to the page finished. So yeah, so that is that one. And then I can move down here and start on the cup. So we'll see how we go on this one. A lot of this bottom part here is mainly two or three colors, I think. So that should go, hopefully, pretty quick. This is the main confetti part here with all the leaves. <clears throat> so that is a super size tag. So we're getting down on that one, slowly. <laughs> right, so next week, um, we're going to be working on my Super Size Tiger. Um, and both my pieces for my brother. Um, I think I've got too many projects out, to be fair. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, not enough. Six. Nope, that works out right. Yeah. So, I'm going to be having a new start on Friday. Uh, this is going to be for um, Gail Phillips. Uh, it's her birthday, so she's doing a tropical theme um, stitch along. So I'm joining in on that one. So that will be on a Friday. So my brother's piece I know I'm stitch on Friday. I'll probably move that to one of the other days. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would show you what the one I'm going to be stitching is, but I haven't pulled it out. So, uh, but basically it's a turtle. So, um, a Quaker Turtle by Aura TM, I think that's how you pronounce it. So that, I'm going to be working on that one on the Friday, so you'll see that on Saturday anyway. So, um, the other ones I'm going to be working on, again, I'm going to be doing some more work on my Tiger of the Heavens, because this one is getting close to a finish. Um, so I'm working in the planet part on this one. Speaking of Tiger, it's just turned up. So this is where I am on that one. So we'll continue doing some more work on this one to see how far we can get. And that's our 14 count Navy Ada, two over one full cross. If I do work on my brother's piece, it'll be this one. Okay, I'm gonna, you've seen the picture of this one those times anyway. Um, so I'll just continue working on this page. And this one's on 28 count easy guide, and I'm doing it one over one full cross. There's Tiger. I told you it was coming. <laughs> so, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, I've got too many projects, so one of these projects may be dropped just for this week. Um, so, the next three are the ones that if I work on these three this week, it means I've worked, touched all my projects so far this year. So, the first one will be um, Heaven and Earth Designs Ornament the Enchanted Christmas, artwork by Donna Galsinger, which is this one, which I was due to start working on this week. Uh, but I pulled it out and the first couple of colors I went for, I didn't have. <laughs> so it's like, okay. So I'm gonna find those colors out. So this is where this one is. This is on 28 count easy guide. And again, it's two over one, 10 stitch. So we'll get some work done on this one this week. The next piece I'm going to work on. Excuse me a second. Sorry about that. Tiger decided he was going to have a go at Kitty. So the next piece I'm going to work on is a kit. Um, a Dimensions kit, which is called Tiger Chilling Out. Which is this one. And this one is being sticks stitched on 18 count black Ada and it's done um, 
two over one full cross or three over one full cross with a tiger. And then there's half stitches in the bottom. So I'll show you where we are. This one. I thought I'd worked on this one this year, but apparently I haven't. Looking back on my notes. It must have been towards the end of last year when I worked on this. So I've done a lot on this. So this is where we're starting from on this one. So this is the top of his head. So we'll do some more work on him. And then the last project I'm going to be working on is in this bag. And it is my White Tiger by David Penfam. Again, Heaven Earth Design. And this one is being done on navy even weave. I'm doing one over one full cross. I'll get to test my light out now to see how well this works on here. Because <laughs> I've tried working on this one several times and I've gone through the holes. But this is where we are on that one. So, so this one has been done one over one full cross. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully with the light I can get a fair bit of work done on this one this week. Right, so that's all the projects I'm going to be working on. Um, next, Stitchy Kindness. So um, if you're in my Facebook group, you'll have seen this already. Uh, but me and Judy, um, well, Judy sent me a, a chart and I'll pop a picture in of what it is. And this one is called Top Frog. It's a mini. Um, and for a mini, it's got 232 colours. Because <laughs> uh, Judy picked the... Uh, Max colour one. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Um, so that's uh, mini no, top frog. So we're gonna be doing a stitch along with this one. Um, oh, Judy is doing no new starts this year, so that means we're not gonna be starting it till New Year's Day, uh, which is uh, so first of January, twenty twenty three. Um, now, obviously, I've said I'm not gonna do any new starts next year, but we're starting it on. We're going to start it on Judy's time zone, which means technically it will be still 2022 when I start it. Because Judy's will be, I think, it's three hours in front of me uh, at that time, because it'll be summer over there. So I think she's three hours in front. So yeah, so I get to start it on New Year's Eve, so it doesn't class as a New Year's new start. <laughs> So again, we're going to be doing a stitch along on that one. So if anyone is interested in joining on that, um, feel free. So you've got plenty of time to get it all your stuff ready for it and kit it up and everything. So yes, so I haven't decided what I'm stitching that on yet. Um, it'll be 25, uh, 28 count, no doubt. Uh, but I haven't decided how I'm stitching it, full cross or ten stitch. Probably be full cross, no matter. Um, right, the next thing for all you guys who have been waiting for this. So going to be starting it soon. Um, so Sarah has been in touch and said she's going to be starting it on the 29th of July. So it's a month away. So this is um, Dragons of Sabat by Anne Stokes and it's chartered by Pain Free Crafts. Excuse me. So that's this one. I'm the crazy person who's stitching all the black. So we're going to be starting this one on the 29th of July. So everybody who's waiting for this to start, that's when we're doing it. So we'll work out a hashtag or something for it. Um, so that will be getting started then. So you've got, what, roughly a month, just over a month to make sure you've got everything ready. Mine's all sorted. I'm good to go. So the 29th of July is the official start date now for Dragons of the Sabbat. So again, I'll work out a hashtag and on my Facebook page, I will set up a folder. So anybody who's working on the Stanley's Dragon style or on the Elephant Puzzle style, I've set up some folders on the Facebook page. Um, so you can just post your pictures on there because for some reason, I don't know why, um, Instagram, you sometimes you post to it and then your post disappears. So I don't know what's going off there. So if you are in the Facebook group, um, which again is Dizzy's Stitches, link down below. Um, you can, uh, I've set up some albums in there for you to post your progress on. So if you want to post in there, you can do. Um, so that's that. And I think that's everything. I'm going to get another stitch with me done this weekend. Fingers crossed. All been well. 
Um, I've got my college work to do as well, so I'm gonna have a busy weekend, but luckily this time I'm not at work. So I've got all day, excuse me, all day today and tomorrow to sort everything out that I need to get done. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Stitch With Me will be done, I think. That's everything. Now, obviously, at the end of next week, will be the 1st of July, which will be a Friday. So what I'm gonna do next week is I'll do my normal update on the Saturday, and then I will... <laughs> Sorry, I can just complain. Uh, I will do a mid-year whip parade, um, which will go up during that, that week. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Especially now I'll be able to find out how many projects I've got. <laughs> that's definitely gonna be fun. So, right, so that's it from me. So again, any questions or comments, please feel free to drop those down below. Um, you can also email me as usual. My email address is dizzystitcher at gmail.com. Um, again, that's linked down below as well. And I'm on Instagram as dizzystitcher, so you can always message me on there as well if you wish to. Um, so that's it from me. So again, I'm now gonna go and sort the washing out and get my homework, homework, housework done, and college work done. And then we'll see that stitching. <laughs> so hopefully, it shouldn't be too long. Um, so again, thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, happy stitching. And until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.